Hey there broskies, hope you're all having a wonderful day. So Waggy here and back with another Kingdom of Heroes Snack Picks for our video. So today with some special requests from some of our viewers and subscribers, they're requesting for Tower of Aragon's normal 70th floor, 70th floor. So we'll discuss the boss's mechanics first and stats in order for us to reason out why we're using some of the units. So anyway, um, the most annoying part of the boss is the gigantic shield. So basically you have to get rid of this as soon as you can since your continuous damage and everything else that you do to the boss will be absorbed by the shield. So it's 20% of the max HP of the boss and that's 4000 worth of shield so really high. And alongside this the boss has really high defense and that's and low attack and that's because of her passive skill which is flawless defense. Your attack and defense are in perfect harmony with your attack increasing with greater defense okay. So alongside this, she has the first skill of Shield Pushing X, so this moves back your unit one tile, deals decent amount of damage. So okay, now that we know the boss's stats, she has really high HP, high def, and she has this shield. So things that you'll need are continuous damage alongside buff remove, and that's why Theia and Prey are here, alongside Ifrit and Freya. Okay, so Theia is here for the continuous damage. If you don't know Theia yet, she's the queen of Toa Normal. She'll take you far here and basically deals majority of the boss. Okay, so Prey is here for the continue uh, for the buff remover, remover as a buff remover, and you can replace Prey with Antares or Orion, I believe. Yeah, they also have buff remove. Okay, so of course Ifrit is here for the continuous damage as the boss is dark type anyway, so it doesn't matter what element you bring aside from light, so don't bring light units here. And last but not the least, Freya is here for some invincibility support alongside speed lead and some continuous damage as well. Okay? So anyway, without further ado, the direct to the point tip is remove the shield when you can and cast as many continuous damage as you can, okay? So We'll discuss more about the rotation of the boss's skills when we get into the game. So the first thing that the boss will do will be casting a shield. You can start it. So when it's the boss's turn, she'll be casting a shield. So nothing to worry about in the first turn. She resisted that. She has pretty decent resist. Okay, she landed both debuffs. So nothing to worry about in the first turn. As you can see, she casts the shield first and then after that she'll be ca attacking one of my units. Hopefully it's going to be Ifrit that she's attacking and not Theia, as Theia might die. I don't want Theia to die yet. Theia will be the one carrying our team here. So we can deal as many damage as we, as much damage as we can. Okay, she's attacking Ifrit, that's pretty good. Um, we like that, we want that to happen. So the next thing the boss will do will be to um, cast the uh, shield again. And we'll try to get rid of it as soon as we can. With Prey, hopefully. So nothing to worry about yet. We don't need to cast the invincibility yet for Ifrit as she'll be casting the shield. Okay, there you go. So my Ifrit is provoked. So we'll try to land Theia's debuffs now. Okay, she did land it. There are times that the boss will resist that, so it kinda gets annoying, but worked this time. Okay, um, no point casting invincibility on Ifrit right now since the boss will she'll be taking a turn after me. Let's just hope for the best. Okay, no debuff landed. But we'll be dealing a great amount of damage to the boss, as you can see. Okay. So the next time the boss will be doing a shield again, so nothing to worry about this time around. Hopefully if it lands a debuff, nice one. Okay, we can support oh she'll be casting the shield. So we can just do a normal attack. As you can see the shield isn't on cooldown, so she's she's going to do that first over attacking. And we'll remove the shield with prey. Okay, we weren't able to remove it. We removed the uh, um, defense buff. Still good though. Um, we'll win this. Okay, we can help Ifrit survive. 
there you go. So, we'll do a normal attack, defense break, and we can land a continuous damage. We'll win this basically. Um, this is a sure win now. We're just waiting for the boss to take a turn. Oh, I didn't even need to take a turn. But anyway, that was basically it. It wasn't that difficult as you saw. Basically, you just have to understand when the boss will be using the shield and when the boss will be attacking to avoid your units dying. Bring Te bring Teya, of course, as your uh, main damage dealer. Alongside Teya, bring Freya for the speed lead and bring another dot damager and bring another buff remover, okay? And that's it for this video. Hopefully, this helps you guys. And if it does, again, do leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Thank you so much for tuning in and see you in the next video.